Hello friends, good to see you again through this video. Today I wanted to talk about this important subject. God can touch any person. Keep praying with trust. You know, when we see a person not uh, showing any signs of improvement, let's say we have some person like who is giving trouble at our work and we've been praying and uh, we are hoping that that person will change. But in spite of our prayers, like uh, things are only getting worse. Let's say like, you know, he's still trying to uh, give more trouble to us. So what we do, obviously we give up, right? Like, you know, most of the time we are so tired, we, are, we grow weary and we give up. Similarly, it could be a relationship in the family, uh, even between husband and wife when there is a problem, right? We tend to give up and, you know, we, we lose our hope. But today I wanted to just share a passage from the Bible and, and to uh, stress this importance of we should never give up on people because it doesn't matter how bad the situation might get or how worse that they may go but still when we keep praying for them there is a hope that the lord can touch them there is a hope that the lord can change their mind because one verse says it very beautifully if you read in proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 it says the king's heart you know the king cannot be easily you know uh, dictated by others because he is the supreme authority in the land but the Bible says the king's heart is just like a stream of water in the hand of the Lord and he turns it wherever he wants to. So it is in the hand of the Lord to tweak the heart of people, right? Like, you know, all it takes is just one tweak from the Lord and uh, their, you know, their rigidity can be turned into like a softness and, and they can immediately have a good uh, you know feeling towards you. And that is what the verse says in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7 also, he says, when a man's ways please the Lord, which means when you and I, we delight ourselves in the Lord. And when we walk in the ways of the Lord, he makes even our enemies to be at peace with us. See that we, sometimes we may try our best. We may try to use our human effort to make peace with the people, but still it won't work out, right? Many times they walk out of the relationship. Many times they, they don't even listen to what we say. But when God does the change in their heart, when God brings some change in their heart, what happens? He can make them to be at peace with us. That is what the great importance we need to understand from this. And then other important thing that I wanted to say is, when we think about not giving up on people, we need to always have the godly perspective here because God never gives up on people. It doesn't matter for him how wicked they are or how much bad things that they would have committed. But still, when God decides to use them, when God decides to change their life, God can do it. And that is what we read in one of the verses. If you read in Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 i wanted to take that verse and read it for you so if you read isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 it says behold the lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save or is ear dull that it cannot hear what it says here is the lord can stretch out his arm you know the lord can stretch out his arm and uh, arm and you know he can r reach out any person who's living in a pit who is living in a deep mud and that is why we should never give up on people, but we just need to keep praying for them that one day that God will touch their hearts and he will change that situation. One example that we can talk here is about Paul, Apostle Paul, before he got that conversion, right? Before he, he met Jesus Christ on the way to Damascus, he was Saul who was a priest like you know he was uh, like a, a pharisee and uh, he had so much of knowledge in god but what happened he hated jesus christ and his followers and the early church uh, of jesus christ right so that is why he did all the persecution against the church and he persecuted the believers and he did so many obstacles he created so many obstacles for them but what happened if you read in acts chapter 9 we see how jesus christ met Saul on the way to and the Damascus, the road to Damascus, right? So what happened when Jesus met him, he fell blind 
and he was there for three days in that city and the lord sent ananias to go and you know take the blindness from saul even that time ananias is kind of little bit uh, you know worried about the situation because he knew who saul was and what kind of uh, evil things that he has done to the people if you read in uh, uh, acts chapter 9 verse 13 that's what he says ananias asked the lord lord i have heard from many about this man how much evil he has done to your people at jerusalem for that the lord replies in verse 15 you have to go because he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the gentiles and kings and the children of israel see what a different perspective god has right because from people's perspective he he was such a murderer he was a, uh, he he persecuted the church he was uh, the great trouble maker for them but from a god's perspective he is a chosen instrument to share the gospel of christ to the gentiles and kings and the children of israel see that is why my dear friends we'll never know the godly perspective we'll never know what god has in mind for a person what god has in store for a person you know we may be uh, deciding or we may tend to judge the people based on what they are going through at that at, at the time present right now and we may feel like you know oh, these these people have done all these things and they are doing this now so they are doomed you know they are not going to uh, come up in life we may think like that but from god's perspective we will never know how he will resurrect their life and how he will change that life so that is why we should keep praying for them see one one thing that you and i we may find it very difficult to pray is to pray for people who persecute us or to pray for people who tries to humiliate us or to pray for people who do, who bring some opposition to us right because it is easy for us to pray for our friends to pray for someone who's doing good to us but it is very difficult when we have to pray for somebody who is creating some hurdles who is creating some trouble for us it is very difficult and that is why i seriously believe you know the early church which faced a lot of persecution from saul would have definitely prayed for saul right definitely they would have prayed for saul because jesus taught them this great lesson when he was there on the earth and i'm sure the believers of that early church would have definitely followed this because it says in matthew chapter 5 verse 44 Jesus said love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be the sons of your father who is in heaven and then he says for if you love those who love you what rewards do you have for and if you greet only your brothers what more are you going to do other than others so he is asking you and me also like how he asked his believers in those early days to pray for people who persecute us who humiliate us who try to oppose us or who you know it is as i said it is very easy for us to greet somebody who is good to us but are we going to show that same love to somebody who is not uh, in right terms with us or who is trying to do something opposing you know to to our progress or opposing us in any aspect of our life let's say right so that is why we have to take that important step of praying for people no matter whether they are being good to us or whether they are being bad to us and we should never give up because one day the lord will touch their heart and one day he is going to bring that change and one day will come when he says right when the man's way pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him so we may not be able to do it on our own strength but god's power will be able to do that and he when he brings that change in their heart things will fall into place and that is why today i wanted to share this very important subject very important thing that we need to remember let's not give up on people whether it's our family whether it's our friends or whether it's in our workplace or in church society wherever we are you know especially for people who oppose us especially for people who creates trouble for us who tries to humiliate us who tries to you know do something bad against us we need to keep praying for them and one day definitely god will change their heart and he will make them to be at peace with us also may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you